We've seen this guy battle before. He's homosexual. He's Mexican, which are both my favorite types of homosexuals and Mexicans. <laughs> Love this kid. We go for Jonathan Reynolds. <laughs> I like you, Jonathan Rao. Hey, you're battling Omid Singh. Yeah. Disgusting. Why are you doing that? Uh, I don't know. I've never battled anyone on the no-fly list before. So. Uh, <laughs> oh, shit. You haven't battled me? No, not yet. Well, let's talk. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a tough, though. Uh, love this cat. He's been a part of every roast battle, all the all the TV stuff. Uh, make a love for Omid Singh, everybody. Yeah. Thank you, Shakira. Right. Uh, Saudi Prince, your brethren's about to fight. Hey. Yes, yes, it's good to finally see the dad from Master of None. <laughs> uh, they don't watch Netflix. No? Okay. No. Well, what, what is that? Peter, uh, Paul Reiser's lesbian daughter? Who's on the left? No? These are topical references. All right. Come to my country. This is fucking must-see TV shit. <laughs> uh, who called you out in this battle? I think Jonathan called me out, and I was like, sure. Hot. <laughs> Fire Squad, who do you think is going to win this one? I'm excited about this one. I've seen me battle a lot of times. I'm excited to see what he does with this off-duty mime tonight. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> definitely know, definitely know some fucking magic tricks. <laughs> Literally. Yeah, same. I've seen Omid battle a lot, but never in the world's ugliest hoodie. So this is an exciting hey, yeah. moment. Exciting to see. I'm excited. I sell this hoodie. You don't like this hoodie? No, I don't. It's bad. Most but I sure. like you. Thanks. You look like a, you look you like a Jawa hoodie. from Star Wars right now. And you can too for $10 if you want to come buy this hoodie. Oh, no. All right, yeah. All right. There'll be an Instagram story about you just swipe up and purchase it. <laughs> <laughs> Olivia Grace. Who do you good. Like uh, I'm excited. I love both of you. I think you're both good writers. Um, Omid, I, I'm, I'm excited to see what you do. You really look like uh, you look like someone left Moshe in a toaster oven. <laughs> Ooh, toaster oven Moshe. I like that. You know, I'm doing, I'm doing my best, you guys. Uh, <laughs> Gold star for Olivia. Thank you. Thank you. I'll pass it along. White power. Who do you like? Uh, well, shit, I feel like, no, I, I was gonna say, I, I kind of wanted to see where this, you know, like, robotics team was gonna go, <laughs> but now everybody keeps talking to the master, and I kind of want to make sure that, like, Mexican Clark Kent feels okay. <laughs> I, I, think, I think I'm gonna vote for you now, but, I mean, I'm gonna regret it. But, like, I'm with you for the moment. You know what I mean? But don't, don't fuck it up. <laughs> Thank you, Mel Gibson. All right, let's just do this thing. Five jokes, one run. Who wants to go first? Yeah? Jonathan, Omid, let's roast! Omid's mom is a yoga teacher, which is why he came out smelling like a hot fart. <laughs> Jonathan is Mexican, but you wouldn't know that unless he asked you not to come in his ay ay ay. Omid, your double chin looks like a fat Armenian girl's elbow. Jonathan has his asshole filmed, filled with cum on a regular basis. It's the only time he can fill a room. <laughs> Omid doesn't actually have a beard. It just looks like that after Maz Jabrani sits on his face. <laughs> Jonathan has trouble dating because no one in the gay community wants to be with a giant pussy. <laughs> Omid went bald because of Allah. A lot of bad genes. <laughs> hey! 
Jonathan looks like Harry Potter if his parents were never murdered and literally nothing exciting ever happened to him. <laughs> Omid looks like he used to be the fat kid who went swimming with his bomb on. <laughs> no one, no one wants to fuck Jonathan Rao. Sorry, no Juan wants to fuck Jonathan Rao. That's a mean thing. That's Jonathan Rao. That is great work. Oh my god, that's a mean thing. Uh, Saudi Prince, it's on you right now. You know, that was a lot of fun. It was uh, more surprising than I thought. I'm gonna give it uh, one tower down. And, um... It's pretty good, actually. Yeah, good. I, I was impressed by uh, Balki's son over there on the left. Balki's son, yes! Saudi Prince. That's not the first time I've heard a woman say yes today. Um, uh, no, what, what is it? Uh, Pete Sampras' recessive genes or whatever is on the left. But uh, as much as I dislike the gentleman on the right for smelling like too much Old Spice and really Old Spices, uh, he reminds me of uh, Russell Peters if he spent less time rustling pussy. Oh. Ooh, inside joke. All right. Uh, <laughs> Fire Squad, who are we like in this one? I love it. A lot of a lot of playfully racist wordplay. Yes. Really want everybody over, but I really I'll so lol 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 the whole time. <laughs> Thank you, Olivia. Right. Thank you. You know what? I'm a professional writer now, so. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna. I hate to, but I, I I'm sorry, Kent. I gotta give it a shine top. I'll. I don't, I don't like his, his fucking dance and everything. Like, he had it. And he, like, showed some weakness when he looked at Brian. Like, they made eye contact and he laughed at himself for a second. And he broke his character. But realistically, I mean, yeah, you go ahead and rock that jacket, I guess. Yeah. Fuck it. Thank you, Sean. Action! Um, yeah, Om Omid did this thing and I never saw it before. It was really magnanimous. We bought, you won 100%, Omid. Uh, but uh, it was cool because you were talking about his chin and he had the mic kind of obscuring it. And in a really kind of beautiful, charitable move, he was like, move it down so that everybody could see his ugly, fucked up chin. And she thought, I thought that was one of the most classy things I've ever seen. And so, but, so not only did you win on jokes, but on class as well. Oh. Oh. Yeah, it was a great battle, pretty one-sided. Omid showing uh, from beginning to end his experience and whatnot, but you know, you can take a lot from this. You're Mexican and gay? Yeah. You must have the cleanest apartment. That's a new one. Hey, everybody. Your winner, Omid Zay. Hug each other. I want to say it was nice to see that there's no uh, the Apu jokes. You know, they're doing the Simpsons stuff. I'm good friends with uh, Hari. I'm on the lobby. <laughs> <laughs>